abs. Those six elusive little muscles that men of all ages, races, and body fat percentages are in search of. You've been diligent with your weekly workouts. Pecs? Check. Bicep? Double check. Legs? <laughs> Whatever. Back, shoulder, tries. All super solid, but when it comes to abs, it's just not happening. Like the Men's Fitness article promised. You've crunched. You've leg lifted. You've even trained obliques. Given it some of that and a little bit more that, but nothing. All your other body parts have come to the party, but your abs, they're a no-show. But not anymore. Today, gentlemen, we're helping you unlock your abdominal destiny. Tip number one is think of your abs as a byproduct, not as a muscle that you build. Like a bonus at work from a job well done. Like an A on a test that you studied your ass off for. Abs are kind of like a physiological knuckle bump that your body's given you for making proper and good lifestyle choices. Tip number two, you need to decide how bad you really want them. Abs are overrated, and what I mean by that is unless you're some genetic freak show that just has a super low body fat percentage and abs are just blazing through all the time, these are people that I hate and I'm sure you hate as well, they don't do anything. They just, hey, I did crunch, check out my abs. And they're the ones always in the mirror at the gym like checking and taking pictures, punch them in the face next time. I'm kidding. Don't punch them. But abs are overrated. What you have to do, what you have to give up in order to get them is tough. Keeping them Super pain in the ass. All the delicious foods that you love, you gotta cut way back. All the free time you enjoy sitting there watching TV, munching on chips, playing video games, yeah, well, that's gotta be cut back too. And alcohol, <laughs> it's like abdominal kryptonite. Sure, alcohol has a bunch of empty calories, but what happens after a few drinks? Exactly, you run for the border. Tacos, baby. Burgers, fries, chips, whatever it is, you make bad decisions in terms of your diet. But tell me again, how bad do you really want abs? You gotta weigh the pros and cons. For most people, what you need to give up and do in order to get them is more than you signed up for. And I get it, because it's tough. So gentlemen, that's the end of this video for you. We're not ready for abs. No big deal, we'll see you next time. But if you're still here and I haven't scared you off and you're thinking, maybe abs are for me. Maybe I do want them. Well, gentlemen, now we can move on to some actual practical advice that is going to help you see them. Everybody's got abs, but ultimately, if you want to see them, you got to get that body fat percentage down. So step number three, I wasn't kidding, is reduce or eliminate alcohol from your diet. If you're looking to lose weight or reduce your body fat percentage, alcohol is the number one thing that you can eliminate from your diet that is going to help kickstart everything. You're going to feel better. You're going to reduce your calories. You're not going to make Make stupid decisions that you do when you're drinking. <laughs> Maybe that's just me who makes bad decisions when they drink. But seriously, guys, cutting out alcohol or eliminating it completely from your diet is going to make a huge difference on the body fat percentage. You're going to lean out. You're going to see that your face is going to thin out. All of a sudden, you're going to be like, yo, I'm not retaining water. I'm looking dynamite. And the place that alcohol likes to accumulate the most is right around the midsection. Tip number four is eat a cleaner, better diet. If you guys are looking for some tips or an idea of what a good, healthy diet looks like, I've actually created the Alpha M Diet Plan that is completely free and listed and linked in the description. Tip number Number five. Morning cardio. There is absolutely no better time in the day to shred body fat and get those abs to show like doing cardio first thing in the morning. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need any fancy equipment. All you need is your ass and some sneakers. And you can do it. All right, go for a walk, go for a jog, jump rope, do whatever you need to do. I also did a video talking about a free app called Freeletics, all right? That video is listed in the link down in the description. Essentially, this app, all it does is show you workouts that you can do at home, including cardiovascular, ab workouts, muscle building app. It's the best app for fitness I've ever seen. I'll link the app down in the description as well, but the deal is you got no excuses, right? Cardio, guys, I know that you're like, but I gotta work, but I gotta go to school. If it's important to you, you will find the time and do it. That app is free to download, it's easy to use, and it is just something. 
There are tools out there. Technology allow for pretty much everything to happen. And your abs, no exception. And number six, the fun part. Everybody likes doing abs, doing crunches, doing sit-ups, doing deep, whatever you need to do. Gentlemen, this is the time you got to work it. Why do you have to work it? Because you've got to develop the separations in between those abdominal muscles. You don't need 2% body fat if you've developed the separations and actually like work those abs because you'll actually be able to see them even if your body fat's a little bit higher. I just unlocked the secret to getting abs, which is really there is no secret. It's about making smart lifestyle choices in order to reduce the body fat. Eat clean, right? Take it easy on junk food and alcohol. Drink plenty of water. Work those abs. Do your cardio. Gentlemen, abs are yours for the taking. Just snatch it right there. Healthy like bang. And all of a sudden, in a few weeks, months, years, you've got your abs. But I go back to point number two, which is abs are indeed overrated. They just are and they're not for everybody. The most I can hope for you is that you live the healthiest lifestyle that you possibly can. If abs happen, awesome. If they don't, who cares? Because you're amazing with or without them.